You know, Jamie Buckingham wrote the official biography of Catherine Kuhlman. And Catherine asked Jamie to tell her story withholding nothing. She wanted the whole entire story written about her life, about a very human person of marriage and divorce, of betrayal within even her own staff, of the shadowy events that surrounded her death, the true story, not of a plaster saint, but of a very human person. Most religious celebrities adjust their lifestyles to fit ascending fame. But even though Catherine's fame mushroomed like an atomic cloud as she moved into the 60s, she always remained a small-time operator. By the time that Catherine Kuhlman Foundation was formed in 1957, her annual gross income was in excess of $1 million. Yet she stayed steadfastly. She refused to do what most big-time religious operators do. She never printed a magazine. She seldom solicited funds through the mail, even though nobody could have done it better with a mailing list than Catherine Kuhlman. She seldom talked about money in her meetings. She never had high-pressure announcers on the stage. She used no gimmicks. She never fit the category as a money raiser. She remained until the time of her death, straight Missouri cornbread.